Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Lukas. I'm a first year ophthalmology resident at the University Clinic in Germany. And this channel is for you if you're aspiring a career in medicine. In particular, we want to work out on the channel how to have a more productive, successful and happy life. In the today's video, I want to show you how a typical day in the life of a beginning ophthalmology resident looks like. So let's get started. I usually get up around like 6 a.m. in the morning and the first thing I have to do is drink a lot of water and then do a lot of stretching of my legs and arms. I really need that to get a lot of energy inside my body. After that I usually take a shower and then I eat breakfast which is cornflakes and drink a hot coffee that also gives me a, a lot of energy. After that I usually leave the house around 7 a.m. in the morning and then I go to the hospital, I change clothes and there I usually start around 7.30 in the morning. I've been in residency in ophthalmology now for a few months and at the beginning I've mostly been at the ophthalmic inpatient ward. So that is the place where all the patients with ophthalmic diseases and traumatas are staying overnight to get supervised, to get treatments and also to get further diagnostic testing. The first thing I usually do when I arrive at the ward is say good morning to the nurses. They sometimes already have a task for me like insert an indwelling cannula or prescribe a drug to a patient with hypertensive urgency for example or something like that. After that I usually go to the doctor's rooms and I see my colleagues there. We work with like two or three doctors at the ward and we take care of up to 40 patients. When you're only two doctors at this place and you have to take care of like 40 patients at that day, it can be a bit exhausting, definitely. The first thing we do then is to see all the patients at the ward on this particular day. We usually divide the patients into three different groups. The first group, that is all the patient who got a surgery on the day before. Typical surgeries in ophthalmology are the cataract surgery, for example. That's a surgery where the lens of a patient gets replaced by an artificial lens because the patient couldn't see so clear anymore with his own lens. They often describe it as seeing things more gray and yet yeah, the reason for that is the clouding of the lens. Another typical ophthalmic surgery is the retractomy surgery in which the vitreous humor of the eye gets removed and then replaced for example by fluid or gas or oil. There are several indications to do that kind of surgery, for example because of a retinal detachment or a macular pucker or a vitreous hemorrhage. When we see the patients, we ask them how they're doing, if they have any chief complaint, if they have any problems, any question. And after that we start with the physical examination, which usually includes the visual acuity examination, the tonometry, the anterior segment ex examination with a slit lamp and also a fundoscopy. After that we present the patient to the attending who did the surgery the day before and the attending then usually decides on the prescription of the patient and how long they usually need to stay if they need any further diagnostics and also very important how to keep the head because for a lot of surgeries the patients needs to keep the head in a certain position like on the left side, right side, head up or head down um, which can be really challenging for the patients as well. The second group of patients are all the patients that we plan to discharge on this particular day. These are all kind of patients, some of them got a surgery like the ones that I explained before, some of them didn't get any surgery like patients who had a corneal infection for example or an ocular hypertension 
And before they leave, we do the same. We ask them about any chief complaints. We do another physical examination to see that they are able to get discharged. Then we talk about the prescription plan and we tell them to usually see their own private eye doctor the next day after they get discharged and they get a medical report from us and also a prescription plan. Sometimes we also plan to see the patients a few days or weeks afterwards again um, at our hospital. The third group of patients are then all kind of patients who didn't have a surgery the day before and who are not going to be discharged on this particular day. That can be all kind of patients, like I mentioned before, some examples. And yeah, we do the same kind of work on them, ask about chief complaints, doing physical examination, look at the prescription, maybe do some changes, maybe we order some more diagnostic testings. We are usually done with seeing all the patients around 10 to 11 a.m. After that, we continue with writing all the medical reports and prescription plans for the patients who definitely get discharged on this particular day. After that, we would continue seeing the post in patients. Every patient that gets discharged from the ward is called a post in patient within the next 14 days. Although the patients who get discharged from the hospital usually see their own private eye doctor the next day, the attending ophthalmologists sometimes like to see them within the next weeks or two weeks again. At this time, they would still come to the ward and would be seen by us and not in the outpatient clinics. Typical post in patients are patients with a glaucoma disease or with a corneal or eyelid disease. When we see these kind of patients, we ask them again if they have any chief complaints. We do a physical examination and then we decide on the further prescription plan if we need to do any additional um, diagnostic tests and sometimes for glaucoma patients for example they get a subconjunctival injection and for patients who got uh, surgery on the eyelids for example they sometimes get their sutures removed. We are usually done with these kind of patients around 12 to 1 p.m. And then we normally try to get a lunch break for like half an hour. After that, we continue seeing the pre inpatients The pre inpatients are all the patients who get a surgery the next day. These can be patients who get a vitrectomy surgery, for example, or a cataract surgery, like I mentioned before. The patients for a vitrectomy surgery, for example, would already stay in the hospital the night before. Patients for a cataract surgery would usually just arrive at the hospital in the morning of the day of their surgery. It is very important to see the patients a day before the surgery to make sure that the eyes in a condition that allows a surgery. Patients who have a very infected eye, for example, would not be able to get the surgery done. Because of the reason the surgery is usually planned a few weeks or months ahead, we do not see the patient normally shortly before the surgery otherwise. We ask the patient about any chief complaints and do a physical examination of the eyes. For patients who also get a cataract surgery or a vitrectomy surgery and still has his own lens, we also determine the biometrics of the eye. This is very important to know what kind of artificial lens to use. We also explain the patient how the surgery is getting done, how long it takes and how to behave after the surgery. For example, it's very important that they do not put their finger in their eye or do not uh, get any water inside the eye. 
They also shouldn't lift heavy things for the next couple of weeks. They should not um, go to a sauna or to a swimming pool. And if they have gas, for example, inside the eye, they also should not fly with a plane within the next couple of weeks. After that, we also do a blood test. This is very important to see if everything is all right with the kidney function, the liver function, the blood cells, the anticoagulation system and the electrolytes, for example. Some surgeries also need to be done in general anesthesia. These kind of patients then also need to see an anesthesiologist. He will decide if the patient is in a good condition so the surgery can be done. They will check the heart and the lung function, things like that. Some surgeries can also be done in local anesthesia. We are usually done with seeing the pre in patients around like 4 p.m. After that, we are mostly also done with, um, with work for that particular day.